Alright, ready, action. Hi, my name is Zasha Wetterland. Hi, my name is Erin Hound. Hi, I'm Brittany Paul. Hi, my name is Samantha Coda. procedures that we follow. This is how we make our biodiesel. We just follow it step by step. What we have here is used kitchen grease from like McDonald's or something like that. It's been filtered, it's been heated up to a certain temperature, and, uh, and uh, we're going to add sodium hydroxide to this oil and that will start the process of separating the oils and making biodiesel and glycerin. This stuff is gonna mix for 25 minutes in there. And what is gonna turn out to me? Um, biodiesel and glycerin. You'll separate the oil into biodiesel and glycerin. As simple as that, just adding those chemicals into a settle. We're going to pour this into this funnel, mm -hmm. and uh, that's when the, the biodiesel will float to the top, the glycerin will settle to the bottom. add the methanol, or the, it's actually sodium hydroxide that we made here. Uh -huh. um, this is quite a bit cooler in the oil so the temperature really drops, but then when the reaction starts placing it like heats up super fast. After we've uh, done our reaction, we've drained the glycerin off. There still is a little bit of glycerin inside of our fuel here, and we use water to get the rest out. Biodiesel and regular yeah, diesel? Yeah. Well, um, diesel fuel obviously comes from um, petroleum oil, like the mm -hmm. black stuff they pump out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know anything about the process to make petroleum diesel, but biodiesel is made from plant oils or animal oils or whatever. Do people, it's the same. Like, do people know like, the difference between biodiesel and diesel? Yeah. yeah. Or the biodiesel is the oxygen that you have in the Yeah, and most people probably don't even really recognize it realize, but um, I think more and more people are becoming aware of it, you know, and what it is. But yeah, most people, they just grab the right handle and shove it yeah. in their car and fill it up. But is it better to get a diesel engine or a regular? Well, um, the, the difference, diesel engines are a little, usually a little more expensive to purchase, oh. a little more expensive to, to buy, but they're really, really, really fuel efficient. And they oh. make a lot of power. Right? That's why semi-trucks use them, because they produce a lot of power. And um, then in like little economy cars, they, since they make more power, they can make littler engines and it gets better fuel mileage, oh, you know? Mm -hmm. How do you, when you pour it in here, how do we get the biodiesel like, on the glycerin? Yeah, how do you separate Well, the glycerin is heavier, so, it's, so it falls to the bottom. And what we'll do, this, see this is actually glycerin from a reaction I did earlier today. You see how, oh. you see how thick and dark it is? So, how do you do it in like metal tanks? Uh, well, it's very, very small quantities. I learned today that I could use oil from fast food restaurants to make biodiesel. Today, what? I learned that the waste of biodiesel is used efficiently. Great.
Let's go put it to use.